Hello. Um, my name is Mike. I'm sick of maps on Twitter. Um, and I work at Pixar. I'm the CTO. We do um, financial services for people who are earning around three and a half thousand rand a month. So next time you complain about your salary, shut up. Um, <laughs> we um, building building a business that is there to serve um, people earning not that much money. We have to keep our operations lean. And as much as um, I would love to be able to deploy, spend weeks and weeks of my life building magic services on Kubernetes. I can't afford to. Um, so we, first of all, we used stuff like um, Doku, and now we use a service called Rancher, and this is not mirroring, so I can't see. Maybe I should turn on mirroring first. Hang on, one sec. See, why does it put the mirroring thing on the other one? <laughs> Is it that one? No, it's under arrangement. Arrangement. There we go. OK, now I can see. Fantastic. OK. Um, we use Rancher, and Rancher, if you haven't seen it, is a very super simple interface on top of Docker. You can run Rancher in Docker, which is what we're doing. So um, my, I don't run any um, high availability. We have a server, which I procured from the lovely friends at Hetzner. Um, I apt get install Docker. Then I run one command, which I copy and pasted. This sounds like one of the talks from the other day, um, <laughs> which I copy and pasted from uh, from the doc, um, from the Rancher documentation, which runs Rancher on top of Docker and installs everything. And then I open up my web browser, and this is my environment. And the reason I do that is because I'm old now, oldish. Well, older than most of you. Well, not all of you, actually. You're looking quite old, guys. You're looking a bit haggard. <laughs> um, we need to get some more young people in the room to replace <laughs> us. Um, uh, where was I going? Oh, yeah, because I'm old, I've got grumpy, and I've scaled too many systems that didn't need scaling before. I was the guy at previous conferences shouting, React! Do you don't need React when you have 25 customers a month? Trust me. Um, and, uh, it, but it's amazing. But um, I've come to realize that just enough scale is all I need. And actually, for now, what I needed to do was have something that could scale if it needed to, but I just need to spend no more than just enough time on it. Can I back it up? Yes. Can I create a brand new environment in half an hour? Yes. Does it matter that I can't do it with a script? No, the script is my notepad where I've typed out the commands I run and I copy and paste them back in. It's probably actually faster to restore the service than a lot of your services, to be honest, because you have to... <laughs> You, you're, you've got some job that's sitting in the background looking for system downtime and then rebuilding the environment. Like, I notice it's down because people shout at me. Um, <laughs> great stuff about Rancher is there's stuff built in like catalogs, which lets you just be able to pick a pre-built, pre-configured service. So if you decide, I want to try Datadog, you can get it up and running and deployed and ready to test really quickly. You've got CI services, Elasticsearch. And all of these, the thing that I really enjoy about this is once you've created your stack, you can actually go and examine it. So like this is an Elasticsearch service, for example. I can actually go here and view the config, and I can see the Docker Compose file that you would need to to retry this on your local dev environment. So it doesn't, although it's a GUI, it gives you all of access to all of the configs that you would need, um, and you can then go and actually connect to the API. So if you've got an API token, you can actually go and rerun this command. You can plug it in future into your CI system or your build system, etc. So it's just a really sweet way to be able to do that. The other thing that I really in, uh, come to really help me is um, one of the stacks that we use. Um, stacks is their name for like groupings of programs, um, groupings of services together. We use the built-in Let's Encrypt one, and that just lets you, um, I can add to this one, no, not that one, upgrade. Um, here is the list of um, domain names that I want to have. You can look at that. 
Ooh, no. <laughs> God damn. I should have used Vault. Never mind. <laughs> Except I would never use Vault because it would be, I would be running it on containers on my machine and therefore like have a single point of failure. Um, whereas I'll just go and change that now. Um, anyway, how can I show that without showing it? In that box down the bottom <laughs> is a list of domain names. And every 15 minutes, if that changes, it goes and hits Let's Encrypt and reinitializes the certificates. And then it stores them in a certificate store on here. So you can actually see all of the 19 subdomains that are running on our, our system. And then I've just got in here, I've just got a master load balancer. Uh, and I want to click, no, not that one. That one. Uh, no, not that one. Hang on. Where is it? It's really good. Um, edit, that's the one. Um, here you can see um, the, the, any, it matches any of the host names coming in, and I can choose which service that directs into. And so even today, even though today this is running on one host with one Docker uh, host, which you can see here, this is the kind of thing that really used to really annoy me about running um, I can see my host and I can see all of the containers that are running on this and if I, I can go and add another host and it will start load balancing, load balancing them out and it shares the config across. Um, I can go down into the containers and actually connect to an individual container and play in its shell on here. like. This is like the old days of being able to SSH into a server, except now it's in Docker, which sounds like a terrible idea until you need to do it. And then it's really important. Because we use things like Django and being able to run a migration in here by hand or shell into Django, it's just beautiful. So if you don't want to go full on Kubernetes type style and you don't want to have the old style VM and you want something that's kind of in between there, I'd say look at Rancher because you can actually back Rancher with Kubernetes. So you're halfway there. So literally halfway there. Okay, that's my lightning talk. Can I now do my other one? I can now spam you. Is it a commercial product? Is it open source? Is it it's, from it's open source and then they have other um, backers behind the scenes that can offer you commercial services on top. They do their own operating system as well. So they've got like a, in the same way that, what's, what's the other one, Core OS have like a customized OS specially for Docker. They have one that's specially for Rancher. And there's like a, I don't really understand this acronym, but it's bare metal as a service that they partner with. <laughs> like this sounds like somebody's just adding ass to everything these days. Um, the that you can actually deploy their OS and then deploy Rancher to it. So if you want to go hardcore, you can go hardcore. But um, I think the the host is, I'm trying to remember where the documentation is. There you go. It's on, you find out more at rancher.com. My other job, different hat, um, spamming you all, ScaleConf. You heard, some of you heard about DevOps days at scale comp, so now we're returning the favor. Um, uh, spam. Um, call for papers, talks is open already. Um, scale for comp is happening next year in March. Um, it is the best scale scaling technology conference in South Africa. Maybe one day you'll take over, but today we are still number one. <laughs> well, I've got the mic anyway. Um, <laughs> We would really value more local talks. Every year we say it, and every year we probably get more international people wanting to come and see beautiful Cape Town. Um, we really would like to help you with your talk. So if you have a talk and you're, you're not comfortable with doing your talk, then come and talk to me. I can help you build your slides. I can do dry runs with you. We can mentor you. What we're really keen on is local stories. So it doesn't matter if you are, you've taken your business from one person to two people. That's called scaling. You've just doubled in size. You just, it's just the way you tell it. Um, so um, just we can work on a narrative. And actually, you'll probably find there's people that relate more to that than something else. So like 
we oft, every year we have a wow talk. We have somebody from Facebook or Instagram, same thing now, um, or from, from WhatsApp, same thing now. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> you <shot. laughs> But we, we've had talks from people like Mixit, and look where they are now. So, um, <laughs> I'll stop. Um, but, but seriously, we've had all kinds of sizes. So it's more about um, actually you being able to tell the story about what you've learned. And so if you've got something where you can tell us what your problem was briefly, um, what you've looked at to solve the problem, and then how you actually solved it, which most of us are having to do to justify to our managers or bosses on a weekly basis, then, we, then you've got a story that's worth telling. So uh, submit it on the site, and we'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much.